Hey guys, welcome to the channel. A little bit of a different setting. Um, please excuse the background. I'm currently like creating on the wall behind me. This is going to be a message for, I said Aquarius. Some of you can be dealing with an Aquarius. Aries, we're going to be taking a quick look at the energy to see what you need to know at this time. Please bear in mind that these messages may not all resonate. We're going to just dive in. We've got a tarot deck here and we also have this deck as well, the true emotional deck. Messages for Aries. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Aries needs to know at this time. Tell me about Aries, please. Messages for the sign of Aries. What does Aries need to know at this time? Please and thank y'all. I hope that you've had an amazing weekend. Hope you're enjoying your reset day. I'm in the middle of decorating. So that's what I'm doing with my day. Messages for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Tell me about Aries, please. We have the world card. The Knight of Wands. Oh, the Devil. Oh. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a, another Aries. It could be a Sagittarius or a Leo, Queen of Wands. This is somebody who finds you extremely attractive. You make this person react, okay? This is somebody who physically, you very much do it for them. With the world card, the Knight of Wands, this is somebody who wants to have you in some sort of repetitive, toxic cycle. This could be just some sort of situationship, somebody who isn't really committal, um, but they don't want to leave you alone either, okay? You've got someone here who wants to continue going around in a merry-go-round with you, okay? King of Pentacles, King of Swords. This could be somebody who's viewing you as a person who's got a lot of people, a lot of suitors. Um, you could be involved with multiple people even. There's no shade with that. But um, this could be a person who knows that you, especially if you're a feminine energy, King of Pentacles, King of Swords, they could, do you know what I'm getting? This person knows that you could possibly do better than them um, because these are two kings here. Um, this person's showing up as a Knight of Wands. Um, this could be a person who's viewing you as having your back up towards them or you're you're trying to, they definitely don't think you trust them, okay? They definitely don't think you trust them. We've got the nine of wands. We've also got the seven of wands and the three of wands here as well. Yeah, this is a person who feels like you could build elsewhere and do a lot better. They see you as a very hardworking person, somebody who puts a lot of efforts a lot you're you're a best foot forward type of person and um, this is a person who possibly views you as somebody who puts in a lot of effort when you decide to tell me about the knight of wands please for aries we have the eight of pentacles and we have the lovers card this person is not going to give up without a fight especially if this is a person who you've encountered before um for some of you this is a past person but this is a person who's not going to stop working towards being intimate with you, pursuing you, especially physically. With the devil and the lover's cards, I always get um, drawn to these cards because they're literally polar opposites. We've got the lovers and then we've got the devil. Very identical in terms of how the stance is. But one is of the light and one is of the not so light, of the dark. And there's an energy here or of it's like, you know, will you take it or leave it? Will you be drawn back into temptation? Because this person is not going to give up easily. This person is dedicated and committed to having you as a sexual partner. But that's all that it is. I've got to make that clear. That is all that it is. The magician card. This person could pull out all the stops, be very manipulative, say what they think you want to hear, do what they think you want they you want them to do that type of energy the empress but they know that you are better off without them this is a person who knows your value this is the thing they're just hoping that you don't know your value so they can treat you this way okay 
Tell me a bit more. We're going to pull you a different spread as well to see if anything else comes out. Four of Wands and the Tower. Some of you, if you resist this person, okay, listen to your intuition. If you walk away, yeah, for some of you, this is definitely a third party. This is definitely a person who um, has more than one lover, pursues more than one person. Um, if you decide to walk away from whatever this is, you will be blessed, okay? You will be blessed. Something better is on the horizon. And the thing is, you can do better because you are of, from what I'm seeing, you came up as the empress. You are of a high vibration, um, a vibration that does not match this person. You're not aligned to this person. So in effect, you're kind of going to be selling yourself short by entertaining this. How would you know who this is? For some of you, this could be somebody coming towards you or a new person you've met. For some of you, you're very much familiar with this person. You could have slept with this person before, been intimate with them before. And this is a person who wants to keep this going. Yeah, with the Wheel of Fortune, there's a lesson to be learned here about someone. How would you know who this is, Aries? How would Aries know who this is? Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. This is a person who wouldn't make a decision. This is a person who kept you up at night. You were wondering where they were at, what time they were coming home, where they were, who they were with, who they may have been talking to. You know, this is a person who didn't prioritize you. You could have felt like this person was definitely juggling and they may not have made this a secret either. OK, this is definitely a person who on the face of it, you can see that this person juggles multiple things. You can see that they are self-indulgent. They think about self, OK, with the nine of cups. This is somebody who views you as wish wish fulfillment. OK, and I do like, feel like to some degree you're losing interest in somebody who has put you through a lot of stress. OK, ten of swords. Yeah, for their own gain. Somebody who doesn't, you know regard other people's feelings because they put their self as paramount what they feel what they desire what they want at the detriment of somebody else and hurting other people and I feel like this is a person who has hurt you before I feel like this is a past person the tower wanted to come out as well yeah eight of cups and the four of pentacles came out in the reverse this is somebody who you are either attempting to release or you are going to be coming up here OK, for some of you, you are still dealing with this person and you could still be in a cycle with this person here. Three of Swords, yeah. Definitely multiple people here. Definitely multiple people. I'm going to pull you another spread. Aries. In fact, let me draw for some of these. See if we can get some more on that. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign like yourself. But I feel like you're realising that it's time to release someone. Somebody's not changing. Messages for Aries. We have effed up over you. Okay. Hope the lighting is okay. I'm going to have to turn on a light over here. Cycle is closing. There is someone who you've possibly been in a repetitive cycle with where you know you need to end it. For some of you, you feel pretty broken about this. You could feel like, you know, this person's dragged you through it. You could feel like emotionally um, fragile at this time. Yeah, self-love is very important. Okay, self-love came out. You could feel very emotionally tied up, emotionally um, fragile. Love child, for some of you, this person could have had a whole pregnancy on you or a whole child here. Self-love is definitely important. Taking care of you. Shocking news. Queen B. Secret accounts. This person's going to be watching you, okay? I feel like you're going to be stepping into the energy of caring for number one, okay? A lot of you could be getting a new job, taking on some sort of position of leadership. Some of you could be doing something where you're very much seen as influential, OK, this person is definitely drawn to you and they definitely will be, especially if you're going to be stepping into the energy of focusing your, on yourself. If you gave this person a lot of energy in the past, this is someone currently who is um, 
not really expecting you to be able to pick yourself up, especially if you've not disconnected from this person, okay? It's going to take for you to disconnect from somebody, stand in your power, you know, work on your confidence, work on being secure, you know, secure tangibly, secure in yourself, secure in your self-esteem, that type of thing. Um, and this is going to take this person by surprise, okay? They're not expecting you to be able to pick yourself up, especially if you've had reoccurring situations. People get comfortable with treating you in certain ways, especially if it's a perpetual cycle or something that you've continuously gone through with an individual and this person will be watching okay you are at a stage now if you've just departed from someone or you're considering doing so Aries where you know you're at a very pinnacle point where you could transmute this energy into something really good for yourself stepping into your power making yourself secure, working on your overall stability, being the best version of yourself for yourself to attract better into your life. Because admittedly, this person is telling me through these cards in the tarot that they know you can do better. You are not going to be short of offers, okay? Something needs to realign where you realise this, okay? And for a lot of you, you may absolutely know your value, but you definitely may have dealt with somebody who you was hoping to see your value to. Okay, something like that. Running, yeah. There's a big message here, a warning even, of you needing to distance from someone that hasn't been treating you well. Bumping heads. It's like you're hitting your head against the brick, brick wall. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> yeah, girl gets it, you know, and it's draining. It's very, very draining. Let's draw for another spread for you. Let's talk about your money finances. Tell me about Aries money and finances. Some of you could be making a decision coming up here about work. Tell me about Aries and their finances, their money. Page of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse, and the Ten of Swords. Somebody could be get, getting outed at your job for, for stealing or doing something underhanded at your workplace. Whatever this person has been taking action on, this is not going to work, okay? Especially if you know about this, okay? Um, you're going to realise that somebody's been doing something underhandedly and it's going to be exposed in a workplace, okay? This person will not be coming out on top with the Ten of Swords. And I do think it's someone else. If this is you, that you know you've been doing something disingenuous at your workplace, you've been stealing from a workplace, judgment, ah, I would be very, very careful, especially if this is you. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio could be being um, outed, exposed for something, something underhanded. So if this is you, be warned, you will get found out, okay? Tell me about this. What's going to be exposed here? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person could have definitely been fiddling around with books, you know, moving money from one place to another place, trying to um, get away with something. They tried hard to cover this up as well, whatever this is. Yeah, cover this up. Four of Pentacles. Hold this back, hold this in. Stop people from finding out. You could know about this already. And this is something that's going to be widely... Um, this could be something that you knew about and you couldn't prove in some way. Three of Wands. Tell me more. Aries. I keep wanting to call you Aquarius and I don't know why. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. The hanged one. Yeah, someone's being found out here for something. The ten of wands, yeah. The three of wands and the ten of cups. You know what I feel like as well with the nine of cups? I feel like this benefits you somehow. Whether this is a person who's going to be um, sacked from a job, you know, let go for doing something that's illegal against the law, something like that. Um this person's going to be strung up. This really sounds bad, but they're going to be strung up. You know, they're under judgment at this time for possibly being very selfish, you know, self-indulgent, taking, you know. And this is a person who's going to be strung up and 
put into some sort of hardship. They're going to be asked to leave. Okay, this is a person who you're going to be seeing the back of. But with the Ten of Cups and that Nine of Cups being there, their demise, their choices, if you like, their um, indiscretions is going to be blessing you with the Ten of Cups. It could be that you're going to be taking this person's position. It could be that you're going to be looked upon as more favourable in a situation because you have been in had, had integrity. Again, if this is you that's been taking and you know that your business has not been straight, okay, you know that you've been doing something at work, you know, with money, um, that hasn't been the best, I would be very careful because you are possibly about to be found out. And on the flip side, someone else will be taking your position, okay? Take it as it resonates. If this is someone else that you know has been moving in a way, especially if they've done you wrong as well, there's something about you. Um, you're going to be seeing some justice here. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, whatever it is that they're, going, they're doing is not going to be successful for them. If they feel like this is going to be putting them at a higher higher standing or they're going to be attaining something from this, that's a no. That's an absolute no. That judgment has come back. I'm telling you, there's something about someone being exposed in a workplace, okay? So I would be very, very careful, especially if you are doing something that is not of the best for your yourself, okay? If you can be found out for something. Tell me about anything new messages for Aries anything new for Aries the four of swords the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles somebody's contemplating what to give you Aries um let's see the hierophant yeah this is someone who views you in very high regard three of swords okay I know what I'm getting. Oh, we have seven of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, you have someone here. I said who's what's new. Who's new? What's new? That was the intention for this spread. Now, you've got someone here who's extremely worried about coming forward towards you. This is definitely a person who's up in their head. They possibly stay up at night thinking about you with the four of swords and the nine of swords, okay? Um, this is someone who possibly watches you online as well with the world card. Six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You know what I heard? What do you get the woman who has it all? What do you get for the woman who has it all? Or the man, masculine, feminine, whatever this is, okay? This is the energy of somebody wanting to give you something, racking their brain as to what they could gift you, what they could give to you, what they could provide for you. And kind of feeling like mentally they're falling short because they're unsure what to give somebody who seemingly has it all together. You could be extremely stable, very self-sufficient. You could get it on your own. You could be very good at working alone as well. You could be very consistent, you know, with getting things done. Somebody views you in extremely high regard, especially with this Hierophant card. This is a person with marriage on the brain. They're, they've got marriage on the brain. They've got commitment on the brain. They've got long term on the brain. They've got big things on their brain at the time at this time. OK, things like how do we blend our beliefs? How do we blend our families? You know, how do we blend how we see the world? You know, how do we blend spiritually? This person's thinking on a very, very deep level. And I feel like something's really making them worry about if they've got enough or if what they have to offer is going to complement what you have and what you may be looking for. There's something about that here. Um, and with the Seven of Pentacles, this is a person who may feel like something may not grow because you've kind of got your own garden going on. This is a person who admittedly says that you've got it all together. You've got a lot, okay? Some of you, they could feel insecure that they don't have enough finances and you do. Maybe they feel like they don't earn enough or things are at a standstill for them or things are not growing for them, whereas it looks good where you reside, okay? And this is also a person who's worrying about this. You know, is something going to fall flat? Is something going to fall short? Um, they're definitely watching you at a distance and they're very burdened to come to close the gap between the two of you because of insecurity. Something is stopping this person from coming towards you. Let's get you some more. 
I don't know if we're going to see any action from this person. Let's see. Tell me about this um, Six of Pentacles. The fool in the reverse. They don't want to look stupid. I kind of feel it for this person. They don't want to look foolish. This is a person who don't want to be made to feel like an idiot. Or they're going to feel really... Oh, this person has a lot of insecurity. It's almost like they're going to feel foolish if this doesn't go right. But they want it so bad. They want it so bad. Four of Pentacles. This is somebody who hasn't let their feelings known to you. They're holding this, this deep in their chest, deep in their subconscious. Yeah, king of pentacles in the reverse. When I tell you insecurity, thank you, spirit. This is a person who feels like they don't have enough to give. And it could very much be this person's experiencing some sort of st instability issue. They could be going through bad health as well. Especially with the four of swords, they could be sick, experiencing some sort of bad health. And this is a person who feels inadequate not stable enough you know looking at you as the nine of pentacles this is someone who feels like they're not where they need to be at in terms of their stability and this really makes them insecure about coming towards you the high priestess again there's that secretive energy they're not divulging this to you empress in the reverse there's huge insecurity issues huge self-doubt Huge doubt of whether they are good enough for you. They question themselves. This person questions themselves, which tells me, like, maybe they're not going to be taking action. Maybe this insecurity is going to take over, especially if they don't really know what to do in order to, in their head, match up to you or feel like they have enough. Queen of Wands, they're very attracted to you. What well, essence? You're very magnetic. Will this person take any action? The devil. They're going to obsess, Okay. Could be a Capricorn. Will this person take action? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Will this person take any action? The Magician. Um, King of Wands. Man of Cups. For some of you, this is not going to resonate for everybody. Okay, so don't don't get too caught up. Could be a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Cancer as well. For some of you, this person could be trying to manifest you to come in. They could be man uh, manipulating your feelings through energy work. So be careful with that. Protect your energy. This person could be making you feel emotionally out of whack. For some of you, they you could feel you can feel this happening. For some of you, you already feel this. This is a person who wants you to be attracted to them. That's only if you are. Your intuition is telling you that. Use your intuition. Tell me more about that. The sun. Could be a Leo. They want happiness with you, but it's the means that they've, they're have they going about it in. I'm not quite too sure about this. It's like energetically they're going to take action. That's what I'm getting. page of swords in the reverse while they obsessively watch this, this person's becoming very obsessive of your obsessed over your energy and it's like imagine want, wanting something so bad and thinking that it's out of reach to you not even trying but thinking that it's out of reach to you due to your own insecurity that oh no that will never be it's too good to be true that will never be happen to me that will, that person would never look at me that person would never um commit to me Okay, Knight of Cups, but they want you to though. And then kind of writing it off before they even try, but this person could be manipulating energy or they could just be so deep in their emotions that they're obsessing um, and it's coming across that way. You could feel this person's energy. You could feel this person's energy. That's what I'm getting. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius. Any advice? Five of Cups. Any advice? Lovers. Six of Wands. Four of Wands. Somebody who wants you. Somebody who's serious about you. Somebody who feels the connection to the degree of wanting to create something with you. Tangible. 
Okay, I'm not talking fairy tales out here. I'm talking tangible things that you can see, things that are present, present, you know. Four of Wands is here, the Lovers is here, okay, and the Six of Wands is here. There's a need for you to only give to things that are possibly giving to you, okay, is what I see here. If someone's not going to make themselves known or they're going to be sitting in an energy of, you know, they will regret if they miss out on this opportunity. This is a person who, after the fact, will have a lot of, you know, ums and ahs, regret, I should have did this, should have, would have, could have type of energy, regretful, over not striking while the iron is hot and actually just making themselves known, come forward and speak, okay, come forward and speak, because it may go better than what they expect with the four of wands and the six of wands with that lover's card, for you Aries, there's an energy, some of you can be dealing with a Gemini um, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for you, I feel like there's a strong message on you're going to be successful either way, okay, but you're also being kind of advised to only give to things that you can feel, touch, smell, you know, things that you can see in your 3D reality, because outside of that, you're kind of just waiting on a dream or waiting on an energy that's never going to come through, even if you can feel somebody's energy, okay, especially if you've got wind of this person having an interest in some way, shape or form, this could be a person who watches you, I don't feel like you know this person on a deep level, but they definitely feel very drawn to you, but there's a hell of a lot of insecurity here, Empress in the reverse, King of Pentacles in the reverse, this person could have mommy issues, daddy issues, they could, um, they could have had an overbearing mother, somebody who took from them, somebody who kind of left them with nothing, somebody who demands a lot from them, something like that. But there's something that makes this person very insecure about what they can give to a romantic relationship moving forward. And this is something that you need to be aware of, especially if this person makes himself known to you. Only give to the tangible, you know, only give to things that are in front of you, Think people that take action, things that you can see, no doubt that there is potential for more. And then use your discernment on top of that, okay? There's something here about that. Let's grab you some of these to finish. Feelings. Oh, phony trickster illusion fairy tale i think i said fairy tale thank you spirit don't give your feelings away to an illusion you know you can you should only um open up your heart your feelings your your energy to things that are real and this is exactly what i'm saying with that fairy tale energy the illusion you don't want to feed into an illusion you don't want to feed into what could be it's just what is um and that can save a lot of disappointment you know getting readings this person could definitely be getting readings and manipulating energy goodness me getting readings that high priestess did come out before i miss you this is a person who feels extremely drawn to you too late thug this is a person who is going to lose out and potentially put them in put themselves in a situation that they're not going to enjoy okay by missing the boat they have a good opportunity in front of them and no one's to say that you necessarily have to take this person up on the opportunity or you're going to say yes straight away but this is also a person who doesn't want to be rejected they're very fearful of rejection and this could be that they've experienced a lot of rejection in their life often on hot and cold detached right now they're very aloof okay Aries I'm gonna leave you there this was just a little freestyle while I'm in the middle of doing my tasks for Sunday I hope that you enjoyed the reading um I hope you have a good week um I should be continuing on with individual signs this week I'll try and fit in a weekly reading as well, energy check-in for all. We'll see how time goes. But until next time, Aries, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. You take care. Bye.